Over the last five, six years, the LGBTQIA plus plus XYZ LMNOP MAP movement, um, they no longer stand for equality or inclusion. They stand for cultural dominance. And I really decided to step away once they started pushing hormones and castration and sterilization on children. Because guess what? When I was nine years old, I used to sneak and wear my sister's cheerleading outfits. I've always loved hair and makeup. So if I had been born today in this modern LGBTQIA XYZ culture, they would have told me I'm in the wrong body. And they could have given me hormones. They could have mutilated me before I was 18 and knew what I was doing. So the reason I stepped away is because all I ask is the freedom to be gay, wear a wig, have a good time. My freedoms end where the freedoms of others begin. And that includes evangelical Christians. That includes people who say I'm going to hell because I am a free speech absolutist. And if I want to have the free speech to, you know, be crazy and have fun, then I have to defend the free speech of others. And so that's why I, in 2019, I just said enough is enough. This LGBTQIA plus movement is doing things in my name, so to speak, that I cannot tolerate. So I jumped on the Trump train, I went to rallies, I took a big risk, like, can I do this? You know, wearing a wig. And it's been nothing but acceptance and unity as patriots. And one of the reasons I'm different than other drag queens is I don't need to go to a pride parade and wave sex toys in public. I don't need to dress in a provocative manner. You can be fabulous, you can be fun without being vulgar. And drag queens and the LGBTQIA plus movement, they need to save their adults only content and their explicit content and their vulgarity for the nightclubs.